Okay, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, uh, good morning and good evening, good afternoon, a very good day to everybody that is joining us from the world. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, a very warm welcome to all of you from Verda One. Thank you so much for creating all that time. We have many people from all around the world uh, in these critical times, in these, um, I'm never going to say the word negative, I think it's transformational times, what we have now in front of our hands and in front of us uh, all around the world. So um, Verda One decided and the League of Legends, the board of directors, the people who are uh, basically trying to also be part of the transformation in this world, decided that we really, it's enough of all the negativity that is happening. Let's learn from it. Let's turn it into a positive uh, way to go forward. And you must be asking, so here's the presentation and you're talking about winning in critical times. Why are we here? We're actually here to say that we want to hack on everybody's immune system, including our own, right? Because our immune system has cells and these cells are actually either in growth mode or they are in a shelter mode flowing in an environment called the blood. What is the biggest shelter? The biggest shelter is now fear. We're here to live positivity. We're here to live reality, but still really focus on the positives that are with us, within us. Uh, and we're seeing it every day. The transformation that is happening at this point of the time, the new us, the tears and the phases that we're going through. I mean, look at the uh, fabulous things that are what we're seeing when it comes to working from home, being close to the family, being close to our children, besides the other negative things, and you might want to call it negative, but we are here to say that we're here to win in these critical times. One more time, I'm really welcoming you very warmly, and this is what we're going to be really going through in this particular program. Uh, let me just take care of the technicalities here. And so, yes, this is what we're going to be talking about. A bit of the critical times, then overcoming fear, the wise direction from a wise person, and the new normal, why and how follow lead or ignore then we will end this 15 minutes to 60 minutes and please bear with us it's going to be good times i'm sure you're going to be carrying something out positive out of this webinar to the world to yourself to start with and to the world critical times is what we're going to be starting with just an overview of what's happening around us and i think we all know what is happening around us overcoming fear this shelter that we are uh probably pushed into and we want to come out of it so overcoming fear by brother Faisal, and i'm going to be introducing him the wise direction from a wise man the new normal why and how follow lead and ign or ignore in this 15 minutes as i said or 60 minutes we are going to be carrying some positive notes for you so you can carry it to the world and we can carry it all together for humanity You would have to bear with me because the network is... So here it is, uh, critical time, Brother Mahfouz Ilahi, uh, a guru in network marketing, an individual, an individual that has done so much within network marketing and worked with the corporate world, has done a lot of positivity, spoke to thousands of people about related stuff to take them from point A to point B to point C with positivity. Brother Mahfouz, it's all yours. Please give us your five minutes. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm obliged to Brother Hussein for giving me a chance to open up uh, my thoughts. Thank you, Brother Hussein. Uh, house, brothers and sisters, I would like to welcome to all of you, and I'm very thankful to all the listeners 
for taking time out of your busy schedule even in uh, quarantine now we are dis discussing some uh, very uh, major points here people from different backgrounds are present in this event today all of us we going to the same issue same crisis and it's common among us all you know i would like to some share important notes now the the purpose is not to scare you but i want you to know that we don't have to be blind but we need to face this with open eyes this open eyes brother please open eyes in fact this is a chance for all of you to thank yourself for taking steps and raise the hand for your itself himself thank you very much brothers and sisters and house again so we are going through a battle believe me let's start with the current scenario the whole world system has collapsed we are locked within our homes believe me there are parents who are unable to meet their children and vice versa this is not a normal but a complicated one we have no idea about it and we have no prepared for this definitely whole world has come to halt in let me ask you a question one more this is the first time just answer yourself brothers no not for not the first time world is facing crisis history is repeating itself itself i was remember here history of uh, uh, world war 1 and 2 or the crisis of 2008 and 9 we must learn from our past we have to accept that millions of people will lose their jobs major loss in the traditional business like factories universities etc in the world going to change or its system ask yourself while well, i think one of the attribute of the humans that they adopt themselves according to the situation this is major message i i repeat i think one of the attributes of humans that they adopt themselves according to the situation we have to change ourselves accordingly today what we are facing did we accept in 20 years ago did we know that this is how we will be using technology now we are entering into wildly changing era and we have to change ourselves accordingly again brothers and sisters and house let's talk about what happening banks have been affected from less sales to no sales on daily basis digitalization in education system is taking place the low class families have no more earning source current businesses will reshape universities will change teaching methods way of traveling will alter everything will change let me ask the another question and definitely you have no chance to say no <laughs> so uh, uh thanks if everything is changing then what about us where we stand it we have to change for the soul we have to change for sure traditional way of business is facing more loss there are two type of people in the world i want to share some very uh, old and beautiful uh, quote there are two people type of people in the world one who learn from their mistakes and the one 
who will learn from other people mistakes and definitely now listeners are in the second categories who learn from other people mistakes the ones who learn from other or pass the win during this time and become a successful and no one is aware till when we will isolated this way some of you may be father a brother or a husband which makes everyone care a responsibility successful person is someone who responsible i repeat it successful person is someone who is responsible so you are responsible we will have to change the way we think we will do business based on current requirement in today's session we will share how to escape out of this crisis if we take notice this time when we can turn the problem into the betterment so in this meeting all speakers are except in their expert extraordinary experts in their area brothers and sisters in the house so be with us upcoming panelists will share some significant points with you which you must understand and last but not least this is not about 20 days 30 days but this is about our whole life so house we will have to think and change ourselves only then we can accept good time i wish to see you all witness the right times successful people don't give up but they live up successful people don't give up but they live up so thank you very much brothers and sisters and house again welcome and now i will transfer to session towards brother husain again thank you brother husain you give me a such a very great opportunity once again thanks thank you brother mahfuz thank you wow i mean i mean it's it's i've worked in the private sector and network marketing for over 23 24 years but we have not i mean i was talking to some of the elderly they're saying we have not come across times like this right it is tough times change is happening in 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 our everyday life now every hour of it is changing the reshaping is going to take place but you and i are we going to be with the shelter of fear and we're not going to do anything about it and we'll wait until things happen or are we really going to take responsibility that is what brother mahfuz is saying and from brother brother mahfuz i'm going to take you now to a brother of mine a friend of mine we've experienced goods and bads for the last over 20 years right we've gone around the world we've spoken to people we've motivated people and we've seen people who are saying what am i going to do you know with with network marketing how am i going to transform myself how am i going to take it out to understand what success and happiness is brother faisal with over 23 years of experience in communicating to the world in talking to thousands of people and motivating youngsters and also guys who are adult and mature and and have been successful in their lives and really transformed a lot of lives brother faisal you're going to be talking to us about another beautiful topic and uh i would pass the microphone though there is no microphone but i'll pass it to you anyways floor is yours the faisal when technology takes over yeah hello yes faisal we can hear you please call go ahead yes thank you brother husain and first of all i am humbled brother uh, thank you for a great introduction and uh, i welcome all of uh, uh, 
uh, all the people from all around the world uh, who have joined us here and we are here to share some great uh, understanding and some great knowledge and our kind of uh, our we we're gonna really speaking our heart out honestly because there's too much issues there are too much fear there are too much too many things there for people to figure out uh, what to do and how to do it and the point that i have taken for myself to discuss with everyone is very important to be honest again and it is um what it is something which is needed by every single person here in the world right now because no no matter how many times you open up your tv no many how much how many times you pick up your phone you go to your facebook you go to those all digital vehicles you end up getting a fear and that's it and to be honest again the first few days for that whole pandemic so i myself i was kind of in a situation that oh my god what's going to happen to way to me myself to my family and that's the issue and that's where the first point comes that you know in the in the good old ages uh, there was a there was a phrase called devil is in the details but the you know the good part is devil is no more into details devil is everywhere even be people don't have much time to get into details but they trust the information which is landing to them and without even understanding without even knowing uh, that it is right or it is wrong it is now i fundamental you know our our uh, it's our habit now to believe on any information which is landing to us so i just pick up one information that there was one information about that world world health organization has put up kind of an sop for for lockdown in different part of the world and it's going to be there for for good four phases and i was shocked that like, wait i mean those lockdowns going to be there for six months wait impossible and you know what i mean somebody took the screenshot of world health organization who so what i immediately did i went to the who website and right there it says that there is a fake news about lockdown for six months please do not put your eyes on it i mean i was like okay there you go if i i would have been trusting that 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 message which was which landed to my phone i could have been gotten into that fear but again uh, that's the point devil is no more into details devil is everywhere so we have not to trust every information which is coming to us so that is really important and once we do that exercise my brothers and my sisters all around and my friends that's point number 2 which pocket are you placing right now you know what i mean my grandma used to because she used to do a lot of uh, you know um, uh, gardening so once she told me a very amazing phenomena of how to keep a plant green and she said that that's a problem with the plants if one plant is so green and you, it got so many flowers you just put up that plant that pot and put that plant which is so green which got too many flowers put that plant in the other plants which are not green which are dying and after few days you will figure out that actually the plant which was green and with which which had a lot of flowers it slowly it will lose its color and after few times it will collect it will gain the same tone of those grape plants of those you know dry plants and always always if you put up a plant which is dying you put that plant in a bunch of plants which are green which got you know flowers which got smell that plant which is dying it you will figure out amazingly it will start nourishing itself and i was like wow grandma what you what a great uh, you know phenomena it is so this is important for us to figure out which pocket are we in are we in a pocket of people who are full of fear are we in a pocket which is dying are we in a pocket which is in a you know which are which are losing hope losing color losing smell or we are tend to put ourselves in the group of people which are actually there for help people who are growing who want to just spread smell who want to spread you know those scents those colors to the world that is important and it uh, if i give you a quick rundown of that i mean you think of an accident it happens you start thinking a color of yellow color car which is so rare in the world you think of that yellow color and suddenly if you go out on the road you will find most of the colors of the cars are yellow you like wait there are too many yellow cars there on the road it is our brain 
you think of an accident and it's going to happen somebody asked schumacher the best grand prix uh, winner somebody asked him how you uh, you know skip an accident and he's he shared that it's it's a matter of you know one inch that i just change the direction towards not to get into accident i mean that's our psychological impact like no matter where the accident is happening unintentionally our steering turns towards that accident and we hit we bang but if we just change our perception we 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 change the direction and we will we can skip the accident so this is what is important for all of us today so please start thinking positive we need to overcome our fear and you know the fear is the mother of all mishaps and this is another example that i i took a long time ago somebody you know from india had given me that great example that most of the people who get snake bite they kill by the fear but not by the venom unbelievable think about it because they feel they think their perception their understanding is oh my god i got bitten by a snake i'll die you never know that even that snake has a venom or not but just because of the fear they get into that you know uh, into that situation so you never know i mean that is important that for us mishaps the the wrong doings the actual turmoil is not outside it's inside us which is again we have to overcome today and keep winning uh, winning attitude is my last point is the only hope my 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 friends and my my brothers and sisters because fortunes are never made on a hanky dory right because on in though in those moments you are so contented you don't need anything you know what you actually don't need anything you don't need change you don't need growth because even if you are making like $2000 you're good but if you want to leap you want to take a leap uh, from 2000 to $5000 would you like to do that in those good happy you happy moments no most of the world have seen people making fortune is not in those pleasure times they basically either they brought tough times to themselves or they landed into tough times think about mr honda think about bill gates think as of steve jobs am i going to ask you a question just answer it to yourself if going to if i'm going to tell you that you better go in your garage and open up a shop would you do that the first question that's going to rise to you is what people going to say that i'm open up, i'm no i'm opening my shop in a garage oh come on but steve jobs uh, bill gates they have actually started from the garage so that winning attitude is important mr honda he started collecting shells from that world war the bomb shells and they started melting those metal and they started making engines and that how it started so you think it was a it was the pleasure time no my brothers and sisters i mean that's important for us we need to change our perceptions we need to overcome our fear today in order to gain something in order to at least gain the winning attitude which is important for us so with these words uh, i pray to god to to bestow us uh, with winning attitude with hope and thank you everyone to listening to us and thank you over to brother hussain too brother faisal uh, thank you very much uh, again staying positive uh, getting out of fear to see ahead times will not always be the same isn't it tough times are actually fortunes this is what we have been hearing it is actually turning adversity into advantage uh, one of the quotations that i love to hear and read again and again it says if everything around you seems dark look again and you may be the light look again ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters you could be the light for a lot of people uh, before i move on to another uh, speaker and another guru and another positive guy in the financial sector around the gcc and the middle east and the region uh, just a, a, an administrative thing i think some people some brothers and sisters were expecting that there could be a video of the speaker but for the sake of you know the bandwidth capacity we're only using voice um, the room is full and again uh, there's a lot of uh, obviously communication usage on these go to webinar and go to meeting uh, um, applications so for that and from here 
we moved to Brother Seikat Kumar, uh, who, as I said, uh, years and years of experience in the financial sector, to tell you about some of the realities and, and, and share with you some of the insights that uh, are surrounding us. Uh, and here is Brother Seikat to talk to us about the wise direction. Brother Seikat, all to you. Seikat, are you there? Hello. Hello. Yes, we hear you. Fantastic. You're on. Yes. yes. Good evening. Salam alaikum. Namaskar. Satsri Akal. To all of you at Verda One, at Skycap, and all the professionals and invitees who are attending in this webinar thank you very much for organizing such a webinar and at the same time i must be humble to get these opportunities to talk to all of you i do not know why the uh, this uh, wise direction has been given to me but i have welcomed this topic i must say the great thing in this world is not so much where we stand as in what direction we are moving. The best path through life is the highway. Efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. You cannot change your destination overnight but you can change your direction overnight. And that's where we are in Varda 1 and the opportunity what we will try to provide in Varda 1. Here we are in need of crisis across the globe. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity. This pandemic, coronavirus, COVID-19 has stumbled the global economy. And the whole world is looking into it as a crisis. But I always say, middle of all crises, there lies opportunity. So my friends, we need to look this as an opportunity and how to utilize and use these opportunities my predecessors has talked about you know very very uh, interesting topics i will take you through uh, uh, numbers if you see in my chart it's a global covid is a global uh, 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 pandemic and almost 1.7 million people are suffering across the globe i would like to mention here you see how the thing is going on, how the market will factor in, how the investors will look into, how the marketing professional will jump into, and how there will be a new era. It's very, very important. Here, if you see the chart, the red line, which is the red curve is USA. The green is, the green is basically China, which is lowering down. USA is going up. EMEA is going up and Asia Pacific is in its middle. So I've tried to, you know, mention here that how the, you know, regional impact at this point of time in this slide. If you go to my next slide, when, wherein we'd like to understand that, you know, business activities got interrupted across the globe. There's a complete lockdown or a, you know, a scene of emergency in various countries. If you see Hong Kong, you know, the retail space, I mean, the people who are visiting malls, marketplace has reduced by 35%. The workplace 
people has down numbered by 24 percent if you see in indian scenario 77 percent of the people are not going into the marketplace 47 around 50 percent of the people are not going to the workplace so that's the kind of you know interruption at this point of time so far as business activities are concerned but nevertheless again i wanted to remind you there are a lot of opportunities can i request you to go to the next slide please in this slide i try to communicate that you know in 2021 this we are in sitting in you know the first quarter has been gone and in the second quarter but nine months to go in this 2020 if we need to understand you know 2021 annual gdp growth forecast and there are many people who are non-finance for them to know gdp is basically the monetary value of all finished goods and services made within a country during a specific period it provides economic snapshot of a country and it helps to understand size of an economy and its growth rate here i try to you know communicate that what's the gdp or the growth rate pre covid 19 forecast for 2021 and revised forecast when this has this minus has been witnessed in the chart left hand side is a real gdp growth and you know the it has been depicted by uh, the the region and the countries the global gdp forecast was 4.7 and revised has been so basically 2.7 so if you see indian context earlier the gdp growth was expected to be at 7.1 percent which has been reduced to 6.7 percent now if you need to understand mainland china it was forecast at 8.6 percent level but revised at 5.8 percent if you need to understand australia earlier it was four percent gdp forecast this post covid 19 it has been revised to 2.5 percent so what i'm trying to you know uh, 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 mention here is that yes there will be a revision and there will there will be a negative effect on the growth of an economy and uh, uh, the the growth rate of a country but at the same time it's not all over it's in the mind of many people that oh my god this is this is all over world will going to be finished not at all right there are 30 40 percent negative in a short term but at the same time there will be a lot of opportunities in the midterm and long term so we should not leave in short term we should leave with midterm and long term months to come years to come it's not about you know that our life is only six months our business our income we are targeting only for three months or six months we look forward for years to come so friends uh, there are a lot of opportunities and and we will discuss and explain in our next slides next slide please In this slide, I was trying to, you know, convey the message that the, is this the first time that the world is witnessing a global slowdown or recession? Not really. At least in my career span, I have, I'm witnessing three such, you know, slowdown and recession. Dot com bubble in 2000 global recession in 2008 and coronavirus pandemic in 2020 during dot-com bubble when it and software companies started to you know grow across the globe 
So there was a bubble, there was a recession, and people across the globe were suffering through the recession. But that was not all over. 79% of NASDAQ index, it's the, one of the well-accepted equity market index globally in US. So most of the dot-com stocks had gone bust in 20, 2000. However, from 2000 to the next recession, 2008, there was a humongous return in the blue chip and mid-segment stocks. If you see global recession in 2008, 50% fall in Dow Jones index. Again, a well-accepted equity market index across the globe, which was down by 50%. Lehman Brothers, one of the largest well-accepted investment banking company in the world, collapsed and wiped out. Still, there was huge opportunity and the world has gone much further. In next slides, I could be able to convey some numbers, whooping numbers, which all of you will, you know, astonish to know, and it will be very difficult to digest, but reality is always true. In coronavirus pandemic in 2020, which we are facing at the moment, global index is down by 30 to 40%. US Treasury yield at low, all time high, low. US Treasury is basically United States government treasury which is in its lowest in 100 years. However, the opportunities are there, which we will discuss. Can I go to the next slide, please? Yeah. You know, there will be an issue on unemployment rates. It is expected to surge in 2020 as compared to, you know, recent yester years in the recent past. If you if we need to understand in last 10 years, right, for example, left hand side is in the in the chart. If you concentrate employment rate in the left hand side and you could be able to see the bar, uh, the bars, which will mention that how it was in 2019, what was the forecast in 2020? And what was the for, uh, you know numbers in 2009 when global financial crisis happened? So which is blue, very small dots in blue color. In 2019, if we consider India, right, it was 5.5 percent. If we understand that, you know, 2020 forecast, it was 9.1, and if we need to understand during 2009 global financial crisis it was around 2.5 similarly if we need to understand korea so 2020 forecast was 4.2 2019 almost 10 years back it was 3.8 and in you know 2000 sorry 2019 it was last year it was 3.8 and 2009 during global crisis it was around 3.5. So what I'm trying to send a message that these are real numbers. These are not any numbers which we are dreaming. Right? Lum numbers fix. These are the truth. So how it was 10 years back during the last crisis, how it was last year, and how it is now in terms of global unemployment rate. So need not to worry much that, okay, world will going to collapse. Of course, there will be an issue in unemployment. But at the same time, that's where the Verda one, the marketing, global marketing company will help you, you know, to generate income through its various unique products in real estate sector and REITs, and which will be managed by a, a, a well-known, you know, by a team of well-known investment banker and specialists, specialists, right? Specialists, so basically they are from Skycap in Dubai. 
Here, if you go to the next slide, I'd like to mention here that, you know, uh, uh, here I wanted to tell that how the A-rated corporate bond yield spread over 10-year treasury brought in concerns. Slight more technical for a common man, but I will try to make it simpler. Right here, there in the graph, there are three colors. One is red, one is, you know, light blue, and one is ash. Right, wherein bond yield is basically bond yield is the return an investor realizes on a bond. Bond is basically a debt paper, a borrowed borrowed paper. Right. So you know, government issues bonds, various corporates issues bonds, and they in turn generate a return, and out of which they you know provide coupons to the investors. Here I wanted to mention here that you know A rated A rated corporate bond yield, 10 year treasury yield and spread. Here spread is often an indication of the risk premium from one investment product over another. So here there is a concern with US Treasury bond, which is less than one percent, which never happened in 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 its in, in recent past, in last 25, 30 years. So that's a concern, but again an opportunity investment of the other asset class has an opportunity to invest if you please take me to the next slide so here i wanted to mention that fiscal policies to stimulate the economic growth amid covid 19. what is fiscal policy fiscal policies of, by, through which government adjusts its spending levels and tax rates to monitor and influence the nation's economy. Here we wanted to, you know, mention all of you that most of the countries across the globe are coming up with a fiscal package and policies to stimulate economic growth. So government has come up across the globe to support the local economy, country's economy. So need not to mention. So here I have tried to, you know, focus on stimulus package on the left hand side and the, with, the, with the red spots, the percentage of GDP on the right hand side. Right. So here you, you in a nutshell that most of the government are supporting with fiscal policies so that, you know, government spending can be controlled. Tax rates will be reduced and it will help to support the nation's economy. Next slide, please. Here again, I wanted to reiterate that relief measures are implemented across Asia Pacific markets. If you see, you know, mainland China, Hong Kong, Taiwan to Singapore, India, up to Vietnam, even Pakistan. I, I just lately today I have uh, I came across uh, with the data and numbers, right? Wherein again, relief measures are coming up from the governments. Interest rate cut has been welcomed. Quantitative easing has been accepted, barring few countries, and fiscal fiscal policy support has been, you know, given by almost all the countries. Basically, you know, the 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 interest rate cut is when Federal Reserve interest rate cuts, and wherein consumers usually earn less interest on their savings. The rate cut usually takes few weeks to be reflected in regional banks and countries' banks. An unconventional monetary policy in which a central bank, you know, purchases long-term securities from the market in order to increase the money supply and help to, you know, support the economy. So again, in a nutshell, there are relief measures from the government to support. So need not to worry. Next slide, please. There are risks. Risk to the downside. Debt in emerging market to default. It's a concern. Effect of the fiscal packages remain uncertain. And slight more to come. Weaker lever market. Put consumer spending at risk. 
aviation industry hotel retail will take some time to recover v-shaped recession a deep recession which is one way lot of opportunities will emerge dot lot lot of companies will be wiped out but lot of many more new companies will emerge many sectors will come out and uh, 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 it's again a lot of opportunity which will which i will mention in in my coming slides next slide please opportunities lies in time of difficulty just a very interesting slide if you could able to focus just what i am discussing you know this is an you know index we have taken an msci world index for the epidemics and how has market behaved and we have tried to understand through hiv aids pneumonia and plague sars flu dengue swine flu cholera outbreak ebola zika measles and so on if you see here historically in last 50 years a number of similar outbreaks which have not necessarily impacted the market in six months each due to the you know pneumonia it was minus 4.3 percent due to cholera it was 13.6 percent you know positive after six months Ebola, it was minus 3.4 percent. Measles, it was positive to 12 percent globally. So, in a nutshell, if we need to understand various epidemics, how it has behaved in the economy, then 2000-2003 outbreak of SARS, right, saw stock market broadly thrive. Standard and Poor 500, for example, posted a gain of around. 14 and a half percent so it's not that you know the current current fall in the global market around 30 to 40 percent it's all over let's wait and watch many new companies will come up right and 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 many companies many mergers and acquisition will happen so there will be a lot of opportunities which will come in near future next slide please is very very important fortunes are made in tough times you will surprise to know you know during the dot com in 2000 dot com bubble dot com recession amazon which is one of the well known company in us and 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 doing logistics and supply chain management across the globe right the largest company right who does online business lost 90 percent of its value in 2000 but delivered an humongous return of 400,000 percent post that in last eight years means 2000 to 2008 400,000 percent means if somebody someone has invested one dollar their money has gone to 400,000 dollars can you imagine this the that's the you know opportunity lies during crisis so you'll have to believe you have to stay invested you have to look for opportunities and you need right guidance right company right support right marketing and marketing friendly companies to advise you similarly apple made a hooping return of 13000 percent post 2000 google has made 400 percent return post global 2008 2009 amazon from 2009 to you know uh, till last year has generated a 6000 percent return hdfc which is uh, one of the largest bank in india and it has global presence hdfc bank beated the market estimate every quarter in last 20 years delivered an absolute return of 3800 percent in last 15 years so you can well imagine you can make real fortune during tough times you'll have to have the guts well informed uh, uh, numbers and advisors who will really help you and guide you and take to uh, your you know who could be able to increase your income level happiness and and and, and the contribution towards friend family and society next slide please very interesting slide 
that how various segments of the market various sectors will get affected during this and post crisis so high exposure and you know uh, 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 the highest risk and, uh, and 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 the companies which will get affected or the sectors which will get affected during this period are lodging leisure tourism cruise lines passenger airlines not the cargo airlines huh? believe me cargo airlines will do wonders retail non food global shipping apparel automotive manufacturers consumer durables and gaming industry high exposure will run in risk less returns moderate exposure beverages chemical companies manufacturing media metal and mining oil and gas properties developers protein and agriculture services companies steel producers technology hardware moderately exposed not very risky though some negative returns in short term low exposure and will generate very good returns in you know mid term to long term construction and materials defense equipment and transportation rental packaging pharmaceutical needless to mention real estate and reits food food retail telecom west management potential positive impact internal service companies retail online gold mining once again i would like to retrade that varda one will be in the reit segment and wanted to transform you know and integrate digital and internet real estate and marketing professionals together it will it will be a unique combination at this time of crisis next slide please performances of the rich versus other asset classes if you see last 20 years annualized return rich i mean real estate trusts and real estate investments have done exceptionally well and generated the highest return among all asset classes when i say asset classes it means investment sectors and opportunities be it gold other commodities oil and energy standard and poor equity market 60 40 men debt and equity 40 60 again debt equity only debt means bonds you know etfs home inflation how, how was the inflation and what's the you know average uh, investors return generation so reit has generated almost double digit 10 percent return so where the one is in this business which will be managed by skycap team globally can i go to the next slide please and probably the last one or two slide please bear with me a couple of minutes you know reit an excellent investment class needless to mention why in reit basically it generates long-term total return always steady stream of income liquidity one can come out from the investment after a small lockdown period of six months or so and it's a portfolio diversification one should invest in equity one should invest in real estate or other commodities or fixed deposits banks deposits right but one should definitely mention uh, and definitely invest in real estate or rich structures i'm not going to deeply into the you know numbers lack of time so can i go to the next slide so again read an excellent investment class so global read overview if you see that how many countries are already in rich structures more than 40 countries are having real estate investment trusts and and trusts and people are investing on those REITs. so 40 countries it's not a small number all g7 countries all developed countries and all you know countries which are considering even even the uh, i should say the emerging and frontier market companies so while united states remain the largest listed real estate market but needless to mention middle east north africa indian subcontinent india pakistan bangladesh 
Philippines, Thailand, China, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, Brazil, Australia, and a couple of countries, South Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, Ghana. And these are the countries wherein, you know, good opportunities are lying. They are participating real estate trust and there are a lot of opportunities. So it is the numbers are increasing in terms of rich structures, rich policies, government interventions and investments. So at the outset, I must say, you know, the my 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 topic was the wise direction. Hence, direction is so much more important than speed. So please believe on us, believe in yourself, have faith on the country you belong to, right? Please wait and watch and take guidance of the right people. There are a lot of opportunities. Thank you very much and have a lovely evening. Stay in touch. Bye bye. Wow, uh, brother Seiket, uh, fabulous! It was it was great, great. Um, interestingly, and I thank you again. I thank all the attendees. They have been sticking around and they've been listening to us. So that's great. Fortune. Fortunes are made in tough times. Uh, great insights on market behavior, opportunity in the times of difficulties, positive realities, and it's all—it's not all negative, by the way. Um, interestingly, one of the quotations, and I love reading quotations and learning from them, and I'm sure a lot of people uh, do love that, where it says, "Rise above the storm, and you will find sunshine." Let me speak to you about a little thing and i'm not going to take much more of of the time here but um, since covid 19 started in fact um harvard business review and times of india uh, indicated that there is new vocabulary that is coming out at this point of the time i mean we have we've been hearing maybe it was in the dictionaries but the word pandemic the word incubation uh, the word COVID-19 itself, new words, but there's another new word that is there, and that new word is the new you. And the new you, only if we really reflect back and, back and see that basically the new you, we never thought about a new you uh, before this COVID-19 hit us. Uh, we, before the turmoil, we have been ignorant about the human values. We've been really not having any work-life balance. The value of material was taken over instead of emotions. Self-realization, reflection, technology was a leisure, not a fortune, and that was all normal. Now with the turmoil, what is happening? We're sitting home and we're doing a job, and we're actually doing a good job. Maybe at the start of it, we were having some trouble, kids around and all that, but there's a lot of people that I talk to now they're saying we're happy doing that from home and our delivery and performance is much better no material matters anymore more family values are taking taken over work which gives us time and focus on self we're actually leveraging technology we're going global i mean i'm sitting here in front of my screen talking to hundreds of people it is actually telling you that this is your choice do you want to be in the fear circle where there is hesitation there is panic um buying a lot of groceries um uh, listening to a lot of negative news it's changing now by the way ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters it is going now to learning it is going to gaining knowledge understanding more awareness of what is happening around us and moving on it is not letting the media take over and tell you all the negative news. Well, we, we, we have to live reality. Negative news is there. But it's your choice and my choice to move from fear to learning to growth. We are looking at next. What is post-COVID? What is going to happen after I move on? And by the way, why do I change to a new normal? In fact, doctors and nurses in Italy, they're saying we are going to move to the new normal because the existing normal did not help us. We want to transform the world around us. We want to give good 
to the people. In two weeks, when COVID-19 hit, in two weeks, all the students were sitting home and they were doing online learning and online knowledge. There's a lot of shops that went from going about to be bust, they actually went in in doing actually uh, um, double revenues. There was a, a, a report by BBC on the 29th of March where it says there are shops and there are businesses that are growing 23% up in electronics, refrigerators and cameras and phone, phone not, not even phones, but, but televisions, 15% up in indoor sports. A lot of people were buying indoor sports. There was a company that was about to go bust, but because there was a demand on drive through coffee, they went from five people to 11 employees. Can you imagine that? There is a company that was producing donuts, and rather than going bust, they created an idea calling, called uh, the Donut Chat. Two people sitting on their screens, the donut company delivers donuts to them, and they have an engagement. This could be an idea that could actually increase engagement with employers. All what we're saying, there is a new normal. But the new normal cannot start until you surround yourself with optimistic people. You surround yourself with the new, and the new starts with you. It has to be you first. Then you would have a reflection. Then you would have a proper plan B. And that plan B can take you, take you and make you emerge with success. Look at it. It's a nature given, I don't know whether I'm saying it right or not, but it's, it's a given to us that we are now given an opportunity to create our own successes. Technology is taken over, our reflections are better, our values are gaining strength, we're closer to our friends and family, there are phone calls that are coming to you and saying, I'm just checking on you. Was this really happening before COVID-19? but now somebody's checking on you. The humans are becoming humans. That's what we're talking about. It is the new normal, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. It is your choice. It is you to start first. And there is always needs to be a plan B that is gonna make you emerge with, with success. That is a little bit of what I wanted to share with you. And now I wanna take you from here to basically tell you we are going to be moving to another speaker. We're going to be moving to Brother Uthman, uh, Brother Mohammed Uthman, another brother, another friend, another network marketer who has been great in, in conveying the message of network marketing and success to a lot of people around the world uh, sitting in Turkey and basically would be talking to us now on why and how. Brother Uthman, it's all yours. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Thank you, Brother Hussein, for a fantastic introduction. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to everybody with us in this room, brothers and sisters and partners in success, inshallah. First of all, it is my privilege to be with you today. It is my honor to be among a legends who talking be, uh, and sharing uh, the stage with them and sharing experience with them and you listen to all of them. Today, we heard a lot of things. We learn a lot of things, very good things, very great things about the uh, reality, about the critical time, about the, how to overcome our fears, how to change our way of thinking and choose the right and wise direction and what is the new normal now the most important questions coming on the mind of everybody each one with us in this webinar room today should ask this question it is a million dollar question so what is the question brother brother hussein can you uh, go ahead with the slide please so the most important question now it is a million dollar question. What is next? We believe that there is an opportunity in each problem. 
There is an opportunity in each challenge. There is an opportunity in each crisis. We believe that fortune is made by uh, through tough time. But what is important, what is next? What we have to do? What is the action we have to do? This is very important because knowing knowledge itself is not enough. Applying the knowledge, it's enough. It is important. What makes difference in our life, it is not what happens to us. It is not the circumstances surrounding by us. What makes difference in our life, it is our response, our react to what happened to us. So this is a very important question. What is next? This is the question I give it to you and you have to answer it between you and yourself. What you are looking for, what you have to do now, you have to be positive mentally. You have to have a positive mental attitude. You have to have uh, you, you have to find a way to create your destiny, to build your future and make a fortune. You have to look for an opportunities. Life is full of opportunities. And as we said, opportunity will never miss, will never disappear. Even in the tough time, a lot of opportunity there is. Fortune is made in the tough time. So life is full, uh, life is full of opportunities. Now, how to choose the opportunity? We believe that we have the best opportunity available these days. We believe in that. You have to accept the new things happens. You have to accept the new normal. You have to be a new guy, a new normal. You have to adapt, you have to adjust, you have to accommodate and looking for the future. So why we're the one which we believe it is the best opportunity? This is what I will talk about it now. Brothers and sisters, to start a business, to build a business, successful business, there is a successful factors, columns. You have to build your business on it. it the successful business depends on the uniqueness in the huge expanding market, in the timing and in the leverage. This is general for all business. And I will show you, know, you, show you now why we're the one. Why, what is the power of we're the one in each single aspect of this? First of all, uniqueness. We are so unique. We are idea out of the box. What the uniqueness in the Verda one? First of all, all the legions, all the masterminds, all the board of directors behind Verda one, okay, they have more than 120 years combined experience, not in one industry, not in one sector. They have more than 120 years experience in real estate, in finance, in corporate, in marketing, in sales, in uh, training, and in network marketing and direct selling industry. So all of these people come together after 20 years of each one of us, minimum 20 years experience. It is not coming by coincidence. We, it, this has happened for a reason. This has happened by blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a reason to give the people, to give the humanity a good platform a good mechanism, a good and a great opportunity to change their lives for better by fusing three great industries together, real estate industry, network marketing and direct selling industry, and take the help of technology. Each one of us know about the power and how real estate is stable and solid. Each one of us know how Network marketing and direct selling, it's, it is very important and very powerful industry. And with technology today, as Brother Hussein said, we are sitting in different countries and we can talk each other locked down in our homes, but we can build our future. So this is the uniqueness of where the one. This is the uniqueness that we give something everybody needs. The idea of Verda One, the platform of Verda One, a people who are experienced in finance alone cannot do it. 
People are experienced in corporate alone cannot do it. People are experienced in real estate alone cannot do it. People are experienced in uh, network marketing alone cannot do it. But the beauty thing that the combined experience between the League of Religions and the mastermind group behind Verda One, they have more than 120 years, okay, in different sectors and different industries. And this is make us unique. Second factor, a huge expanding market. In any business, the most important thing that the market you will target, you will target each business target a segment of people but in our business in verda one we target everybody on the air the more you have a bigger market and a huge expanding market the more successful you will become and our target we target everybody you know why because we provide people with a need having a home it is not a luxury it is a need everybody looking for a shelter and this is what we give to people this is what we provide people this is very important thing but what makes us different and unique that even real estate traditional business company they target people who are rich with money but in verda one we target everybody we target investors, people rich with money who want to invest in real estate, and we target people who are rich in the positive mindset, who are rich with ambition. People want to build their future, even if they don't have in their pocket more than 500 US. They can involve and start this industry and end with their home, dream home. And the third point, which make our business, our market, it is so big that as a network marketing company, direct selling company, okay, there is a lot of companies all over the world selling different type of products and services. In other company, they consider people in different company as an enemies. But in Verda one, we consider all networkers all top earners, all leaders in any network marketing company as a potential customer to us. You know why? Because if you are doing whatever company you're doing, selling whatever service or product, and you are a leader and a top earner and you make a lot of money, okay, all big earners and big leaders, they invest part of their income in investment they make investment and the most investment they make they make it in the real estate so my potential customer even the top earner in other companies i will be happy with them i told him be doing whatever you do make a lot of money and invest with me in reit and concept and in real estate you see how big is our market and now the third factor is the timing time is very important timing is very important in any business in this life and today now whatever happened in the world today is the best timing to start where the one with us you know why first of all because of what happened with us all of us these days it changed the paradigm of all people because of COVID-19 and Corona and lockdown in the home, the paradigm of all people all over the world has been shifted and changed to the right paradigm. For last 20 years, as a networkers, we talk with people about the importance of home-based business, the importance of doing and building a network. And people, most of people don't believe in that. Now, everybody in the world, Locked down in his home, his paradigm is a change, and he is looking for a home business, a home based opportunity. This is one thing. Another thing, the standards of people is a changing also. Also, there is no more job security feeling with people. 
There is no more traditional business security feeling with people. There is no belief in traditional way of working or job things. The concept nine to five will disappear. Most of people are employees working nine to five. This term concept in a few years will disappear. And this is good for us. People now are ready to take an opportunity to go to grow to the next level. There is no more comfort zone. You know, most of people fail because they're living in the comfort zone. Now there is no more comfort zone. Everybody now locked down in his home, okay, with if he is lucky with 50% of his salary because companies and bosses cut 50%. And many of them, they are sitting with unpaid leave. So there is no more comfort zone. And the most important thing also, the all distracting factor are disappear. Distracting factor which make you wasting time and not focusing in building business, okay, it is disappear. There is no more cinema, there is no more uh, coffee shop, there is no more clubs, there is no more trips. And the biggest excuse of people not doing network marketing that I, ha that I have no time, this excuse is disappear also. The only thing you have now is the time. So timing now with where the one is the best. And the last one is the leverage. Leverage of brothers, very important you know when you work as a team where the one is a teamwork not a one-man show and with team together everyone achieve more so when you work as a team it is very important leverage make for you people at work with a huge leverage and the beauty thing in where the one to make fortune and make a lot of money you should have people at work but the beauty thing in Bird the one that your people at work with you, they are your partners with equal opportunity. They are not your employees. So we have people at work, teamwork, but all is partners. After all of that, now we know why Bird the one is the best choice. Now the action, what I have to do, how? I always believe in a world, if it is to be, it's up to me. Now it is your choice, brothers and sisters. You have a lot of information now. You know a lot. You see the opportunity, but opportunity means nothing if you did not take an action toward it. So the answer is act, not wait. People fail because they wait, they postpone. No, no. Now, today is the timing of action. Act not wait. If you are a member of Verda One now, okay, this is your time now to go and share this opportunity and share this jewel with everybody you know on the earth. Because it is unfair to keep this for yourself only. And if you are hearing this for the first time, your action should be go to the guy who invites you today and tell him. Okay, ask him the million dollar question, what is next? And after you take the action, just follow a success system of Verda One. There will be a lot of upcoming webinars, a lot of things to share with you, okay? Me, not only me, all the legends here to help you, to guide you, to motivate you, to achieve whatever you want in this life. Now, the most important thing, my final word before, before I'm leaving, that brothers again and again and again, in each challenge and problem, there is an opportunity. And fortune is made in a tough time. And we believe in Verda One, all the legends, all the people behind this company. We believe that we are the best. And not only believe, we will work and we are working to prove this to everybody, to mankind. We believe in ourselves. We believe we are the best. 
we believe we are here to stay inshallah for you and for your kids and for your grandkids now it is your choice now remember if it is to be it's up to me your future your destiny your whatever you want in the future it is up to you now it is your choice to take an action and not waiting anymore thank you very much for hearing me thank you very much to be with us here thank for all the ninjas who give me the chance to talk and share with you some of what we have and inshallah we will meet you in upcoming events very soon see you all at the top thank you very much hussein mike with you thank you brothers and sisters Brother Muhammad, uh, thank you very much. Um, you won't believe that uh, I was getting some messages on WhatsApp saying, when is Muhammad going to talk about the Verda opportunity? We want to know the concept. So I guess uh, people are eager to, to listen to that. It's, it's, it was a flavor of the opportunity for tonight. Why and how Verda won great times to start a home-based online business. And of course, it is a paradigm shift. So uh, thank you very much for your wise words uh, that are coming from years and years of experience in marketing. Now, let me take you to um, Brother Waqas, uh, the founder and co-founder and the leader and the legend and the guru uh, that we uh, are been waiting for. And uh, Brother Waqas was definitely a, um, an, a fabulous addition to my life, I must say. Uh, how he uh, convinced me uh, in seeing the opportunity in many things, including Verda One. Uh, Brother Waqas, your years of experience and your years of wisdom, we want to hear it from you. It's all yours. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Hussein. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Perfect. Thank you very much. It was. It's been a wonderful time today, and uh, wow, it's awesome. You know, actually uh, hearing Sekhet, Utwan, Mahfouz, Faisal, you, it's it's whole different experience actually. And just to before I start, I would like to tell people, you know, that. People who are talking with you right now, they all are in different countries today. And almost we are here talking to you from six different countries and sharing our experience with you guys. And uh, one more thing I would like to say that I was getting messages uh, while I was in the session. I would like to apologize all those people who could not attend the session and start due to the full house because the room was full. But definitely there will be more to come and uh, we'll be doing these kind of sessions for you guys. Uh, so, you know, as, as you all heard a lot today, that how you guys can, you know, deal with these critical times. And uh, I, I was very much agreed with Faisal, with Uthman, with uh, Mahfouz, with Sekhet, and uh, Hussein, that, you know, destinies are always made in critical times. And how people made those destinies, how people create an example in those timings. It was all about a decision. That was a one person get up and he made a decision that that's it. I will not, the, the environment will not drive me. I will drive the environment. Now the, the circumstances will not drive me. I will create all my circumstances around me. So, you know, it's all about you. When and what decision you will make. And, you know, to make a decision, decision needs trust. That on what basis you are making the decision. You know, you need to make a smart decision and smart decisions always made on the basis of right information, on the right knowledge. And I believe that today's session is an extraordinary. As we have experienced that, you know, uh, in, in, in horrible times, in difficult times, there are companies who made profits 6,000%. Wow. How come? Yes, because somebody somewhere over there made a decision that these circumstances will not drive my organization. 
I will create the circumstances which will drive my organization on the top. And they took it. So guys, so that's what leads you ahead. But you know, to lead, you need an experience. And experience comes from when you, it always says, you know, success leave clues. If you want to successful, follow those clues. So what you need to do is you need to be a good follower to become a leader. So you know, you need to follow the success system, which we are the one is providing you to become on the top of this organization, in the organization and in your life, most importantly. Because you know, and we are the one, in our mission or in our vision, what we talk about is we will, we can only provide you the platform where you will be able and we'll empower you to achieve your ultimate dreams. So it's up to you, what is your dream? And we will give you the direction, we'll give you the experience. It's all about upon you that what decision you'll make. Find a perfect timing for an initiative. And I believe you know timing is perfect now. You are with the right people at the right place and the right times. As Hussein was talking about, it's a new normal. A new normal is what? It's new you, which will create a new normal in your life. And now, I'm, you know, because my life, I've been very busy and I'm traveling like a maniac uh, in the last three, four years around the world doing business and establishing company and whatnot. But you know, these last 15, 20 days are extraordinary for me. I have spent an awesome quality time with my kids, as well as building this REIT of approximately $200 million REIT from home. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? And it's not just a REIT for Pakistan, for India, for Dubai. We are building a global REIT, right? And this is the new normal, that you can establish your organization while sitting in front of your laptop, on your phone, on your computers. The only thing which can help you to do this is take a decision and let and help people enough so they can be with you to build that organization. Because remember one thing, some will, some won't. So what? Someone else is waiting for you to help him to grow and achieve his dreams. Because network marketing, this company is all about helping and sharing. Help others to achieve their dreams, share your experience, and let people grow. Now, what, what is, you know, it's, it's, it's a very, uh, we, we call it, it's a, it's a phenomenon. Attract, interact, and act. Attract what? Attract positivity towards you. And when you are attracting towards positivity, the people get attracted to you as. Once people will get attracted to you, get interact with them. And motivate them to act, and act yourself on that. When positivity attracted to you, let's suppose you, then you know, were the one get attracted to you today in this session, you interact with us. Now it's your time to take action, to act upon it. So, and then you know, the success leap clues. And I always tell people if your why is clear, how they come easy. Today, you need to decide that what is your why, why you are here. And I've seen like it's almost like one hour plus, and it's still room is full. Nobody left the room because you people decided to learn something new, to do something for yourself, and to achieve something for yourself and your families. So now it's your time to act and and, and achieve whatever you want. Today I have with me uh, Hussein. If you will. Uh, and click on the next slide. Today I have with me uh, a, a, a young man. I met him 20 years back uh, in Dubai, and he was the master of ceremony uh, who invited me on stage. He was a young chap who just graduated from US and came back to his hometown in Dubai, but to his parents. And uh, due, to, due to some you know, friend or invitation, he was there in that session to be an MOC. And that was my first interaction with Ayer Hussein. And I, and, and, and I experienced him first-handedly. I saw him starting from a first graduate to be a millionaire. And we all witness that he become the first millionaire. And unstoppable. I believe, you know, I'm very much right with his brand, Unstoppable Millionaire, because he's one of the, uh, he achieved his first millionaire at a very young age. He became a multimillionaire at a very young age. 
And there he didn't stop. He had a great experience in network marketing, real estate, entrepreneurship. He's been into different businesses now. He's been speaker around the world, author of a book, Unstoppable Millionaire, and a brand ambassador of so many companies, a life coach to so many businessmen and successful people. And I'm glad to announce today that uh, Hussein decided to be a part of We Are The One. We all, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the legends, the, you know, the League of the Legends, as well as the uh, Mastermind Group, we welcome Tahir Hussein on board at We Are The One. And uh, Tahir, uh, please, Hussein, uh, unmute Tahir so Tahir can speak. Tahir, the stage is all yours. Welcome to We Are The One. And I would like to share your experience that what motivates you and how was your experience so far in life? In life? Well, uh, Brother Vakas, thank you so very much uh, for having me. Am I coming loud and clear? Yes, brother. You're, yes, you're, I can hear you. Yes, all right, awesome. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, thank you, Brother Vakas. Uh, Hussein, thank you very much. Amazing line of speakers. I've been glued myself listening to this particular session and uh, it's a very humbling experience and an honor to be here today and i'll get right into it um i want to talk about uh, so you could google me by the way after the webinar is over and you will find a lot about me on the social media um i've been in network marketing for the last 23 years and in the real estate industry for the last 15 years and i'll talk a bit about both and then talk about why you today so Think about this. If I told you that real estate is a multi-trillion dollar industry around the world, and Varda One allows you with as little as a thousand dollars to tap into a trillion dollar industry, what does that mean? Think about it. It's 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 mind-boggling. I've never heard of this concept. And that's one platform where the one right now available to you. Number one, the real estate, the REIT part of the real estate, where you have amazing stuff. Now, what was amazing was when Brother Uthman, which was amazing to hear from him, the last time I heard was in my early 20s. It was lovely to hear his voice. He said that where the one has over 120 years of experience in the industry where people are. So you get a chance to leverage on the best professionals and experts in the industry. Guys, they don't come cheap, let me tell you that. And you have an opportunity to leverage on them because of this opportunity. And I can promise you that these individuals with Verda One in their industries come very expensive. So that's point number two, you could leverage on them. Point number three, the network marketing industry, the direct sales industry. Very few people know this, that our industry is 189 billion US dollar industry as of 2017 direct selling association statistics. Hollywood industry is 136 billion dollars. So the network marketing direct sales industry, which is another platform where the one allows you to have, is worth a hundred and eighty nine billion dollar just that industry one of the speakers said that you're not competing with any other company you're actually inviting them that's a hundred and eighty nine billion dollars generated just in the direct sales network marketing space now this would shock you and this is what brings me to you now in the last 10 years network marketing industry has paid over 600 billion, 600 billion US dollars in commissions. And these were not Brad Pitts and Angelina Jolie's. These were ordinary people who became extraordinary. It's mind boggling the amount of money that got paid in the last decade. And this number is not decreasing by any means, Brother Sekit mentioned about the unemployment and some amazing statistics there. The, the higher the unemployment, you realize the desperate people are when it comes to opportunities. And in the downturn we are in right now, 
where that's at least that's what the media says. That's what the GDP looks like. There's a massive opportunity for any one of us to take our business, our financial life, the lives of the people we love and care the most to the next level, a level we as individuals probably would have never seen. But I have to tell you something sad. Over 95% people will never make it. Over 95% people in our industry will never make it. So you have a choice today. And the choice is what puts you in the 5% and not in the 95%. Amazing information, ama amazing data, great line of speakers. But what does all of that mean for you? Because over 95% of us would have usually given up. What makes you be in that 5%? So here's something I would love, I would love you to take notes of. If you could quickly type somewhere, take notes somewhere, is that where are you in life right now? Are you in a crisis mode management? And even if you are in that mode, what could you do today to change it? It's very important to know where you are in your life right now. Point number two, and be honest to yourself, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on some of the facts that I just gave you right now? Or are you focusing on all the other facts that do not serve you to be where you want to be in your life? You see, you could be right. Millions infected, thousands died, and I sympathize with them. And I pray for their families in all my prayers. But we have to do more than that, right? So just because you are right about something doesn't mean it is the right focus you're keeping on to move forward in life. You'll have to let go of certain things. What are you willing to let go today? So what are you focusing on? Because what you focus on is where your energy will go. What if I told you my wealth students right now did over 800% increase in their income in the last 90 days, 800%. For a lot of people, the world is on fire. And yet there are people making that kind of increase in their income. So where you focus on is where the energy goes. Always, always remember that. So focus on anything that's going to drive you and your loved ones to the next level because the easier option is failing. Brother Vakas said success leaves clues. He's right. You know what else leaves clues? Failure. Failure leaves clues as well, by the way. Being in a trillion dollar industry where $600 billion were given out over the last 10 years is not enough for you to become successful. It's a good place to be at, but it is not enough. So choose what you wanna focus on. Get the ground reality of your situation and then decide if you want to be in that 5% of the professionals of this industry, because I can promise you that every person in Varda One who is leading the company in different departments, bringing 120 years of their experience is a professional. Uh, I admire Brother Vakas and his team for putting an amazing, amazing team together. When I saw their credentials, I was amazed. So is that enough for you to become successful? No. So choose what you want to focus on. Now, when you have got, where am I right now? Okay, done. What are you focusing on? Done. Let's go. Now my question is, what's going to stop you from moving forward? Right? Because just when you're ready, something will happen. Something else will show up. Distractions will happen. So what is in this business for you? Some of us will look as, okay, let's see how much money I can make in 30 days, 90 days. What if I left you with something more deeper than that? What if I told you building where the one is not about how much money you're gonna make in a month? That's too short a thinking, a very small way to think. The 5% who make it big in our industry don't think like that. 
think of what what if i asked you to think about the next generation after all it's read after all it's an asset after all it can get passed to the next generation after all it's a residual income after all that residual income could be passed to the next generation you know how many millionaires i have met whose kids inherited over a million dollars in network marketing income per annum wouldn't you want to think that big right now because 5% do think that big so rather than then saying okay i'm going to make some money what if i told you leave a legacy what are you going to leave with varda one for your next generation would that be something that would motivate you because you would need a lot of motivation not just knowledge a lot of teamwork when things go bad and they do they always do so what would keep you going is that would be the defining factor between the 95% who might get one paycheck some money here and there and the other 5% who make it big who leave money for the next generation to come for some of us we are in crisis for the others it's an opportunity this time too shall pass that's what they all say right hold on tight this time too sh shall pass the question is when this time is over which side will you be on have you heard this famous saying that a man who gets into a storm doesn't stay the sa same person when the storm is over he changes forever so what will change in you after all you have that choice that you can either be stopped or become unstoppable thank you brother one for having me on this session truly an honor and i'll pass the mic back to brother wakas or brother hussain brother tahar hussain i'm i'm honored right i mean i i see you on the slide i've heard a lot about you um, what a great speaker what a fantastic insight uh, brothers and sisters, uh, ladies and gentlemen, 95% will never make it from ordinary to extraordinary. 5% only would make it. Are you, am I, are we going to be part of that? Verda One now is over in, on, on over 11 countries and we're growing. I think we added the 12th country only a few days ago. This REIT is global. It's not regional. It's not a country related REIT, right? You could have an opportunity in Philippines, in Indonesia, in Turkey, in lots of places, right? The concept is built on own, share, and grow. Focus on what drives you next. It is growth for generations. This is what Brother Tahir was saying, and this is what the panelists were saying. Stay positive in these negative times. Turn the adversity into advantage. Best opportunities do come in tough times. Focus on that. Read. We have seen it from Brother Seikert and what he showed us. I thank you. And in fact, I want to announce this also. We just decided that there's going to be an Arabic event also next week. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for making it. Uh, thanks for making the time. Please stay safe, you and your families. And remember, there is a team here called the Verda One Team that is here to help you in growing because we all want to transform the humanity and we all want to transform and make this humans and humanity better in going closer to their values of mankind. Thank you so much. We will see you soon. Take care, stay safe, have a great evening. Thank you. Uh, Hussein, salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Okay, Hussein, uh, let me share uh, one uh, 30 seconds with people. First of all, thank you for a great event for Hussein. I want to thank Hussein, our uh, host today. And I want to thank every one of the legend who get, share with us his experience, Faisal and Mahfouz and Brother Seikat. We learn a lot from him and Brother Waqqas. And to Brother Tahir Hussein, I just want to say hi to you. Alhamdulillah, after 20 years, we are together again. And this is heaven for a reason. I am very happy to be among us, Brother Tahir Hussain. Thank you very much for all everybody. As Hussain said, 
that we decided as a board of directors that we will repeat this event, inshallah, in Arabic next week because of a lot of Arabic attendees asking us by messenger that they want this event in Arabic. So inshallah, wait the announcement that when it will be in Arabic, make sure okay. that you will bring everybody with you. And uh, I think all legends want to say goodbye and want to thank you, Mike with you, brothers, Faisal, Mahfouz, Sekat, Waqqas, Tahir. Let's say goodbye to all of our partners in success. Brothers, you can unmute yourself and share, say goodbye. Yes, thank you very much to all. Goodbye. Okay, uh, uh, friends, okay. Uh, brothers, yeah. sisters, take care of yourself. As good, have a uh, good day, and uh, stay safe. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Sorry for uh, Bakas. We want to hear from you and brother Sekat. Hi. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for joining us, and inshallah, we'll see you soon. Uh, thank you, Uthman, Sekat, Mahfouz, Faisal. Hussein and especially Tahir. It's been wonderful with you guys. Thank you very much for your time. And inshallah, see you soon. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, Hussein. Mike, with you, you can conclude now. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, great to hear all the, all of your voices and your insights. And uh, we'll be seeing you soon. As I said, stay safe, please. And have a great evening. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.